Do you ever wonder what pro players are thinking when they play? Like what strategy and in-game ideas do they think about to allow them to hit clips like this, this, and even this? No. No, crazy. Well, that is what I'm gonna show you today. Coming from a guy with a decent amount of skill in this game. Full beast. Damn. I'm gonna explain why I think about in my gameplay to win more fights. So starting off the video, this is a clip I got from me playing Raiders 1v1 map. So I start off by going for a series of retakes to possibly regain height back from my opponent. Now the second bit is extremely risky. I do not suggest that you do this in a real game. What I do is I cone the guy, causing him to hit his head. And before he could react, I go for a very swift side jump retake. So now you would think I am no longer contested for height, right? No. He manages to place a cone below me before I could place a stair. I managed to have enough time to jump up, and I even went for a very close pre-fire on him. From there, I edit the floor into a top-rate Dorito edit to make sure I have the best side of the peak. He avoided it, so I go for an even tighter peak, and I managed to crack him for 103. Now throughout this clip, I guess you could say I was being a, being a little risky because the amount of HP I had be beforehand to the opponent. But I'm going to go over that in a different video talking about how to be more aggro in your games of Fortnite. So moving on to clip number two. It's quite short because of how aggro I was throughout this clip. So let me show you. It starts off with a guy pressuring my box while I'm trying to reload my gun. I manage to get the reload off and I go for an extremely brutal peace control move causing him to lose 112 shield. From then, he tried to retreat back, in which I do an extremely aggressive push through his builds, until I managed to Mongo Classic him for the kill. Again, I will explain more about this aggro playstyle in another video. The final clip I'm going to show you guys today starts off with a few retakes. Then I decide to try something new, and instead of going to the left, I go to the right, which is directly through his builds, which causes him to think that I'm still on the pyramid, which results in some easy high ground. I then go for a super tight shot on the guy behind the cone. Then I build up and go for some light piece control. Now, <clears throat> I know the guy was not directly in the box. And I meant that to happen because the wall he was trying to place to stop me from getting the shot is super awkward to place. And almost impossible to do without getting shot first. Now, if he didn't side jump and edited the wall instead, he would end up right in the piece control in which I can get a clean shot off him, also finishing the fight. Now, if you guys want me to post more of these videos, it would help a lot if you guys showed your support in the comments or by liking or subscribing to the channel. See you guys.